Welcome to Lower Back Pain School, a multimedia tutorial on how to use Excel, the e-learning XHTML editor. Lower Back Pain School is a safety and health website on Lower Back Pain for teachers and students. This tutorial consists of a series of modules showing you how to create a website using Excel. As a continuation of our tutorial module, we will discuss multi-choice question I device of Excel Learning. Let's define first multi-choice question. It is a form of assessment in which respondents or students are asked to choose several different responses to a specific question. And for each question, the student is supposed to select the best choice among a set of four or five options. To begin with, choose multi-choice from the device pane and click it. Then four windows will come into view. First is the question. Second is the hint. Third is option. And lastly is the feedback. Let's enter a title in the device heading to easily distinguish one question from another when building new quizzes or reusing question. Type in test your knowledge. Then enter the question text in the box provided. This is the beginning part of a question or also called as the stem, which presents the item as a problem to be solved. For example, type in What is the average recovery time for low back pain? After that, go to hint. If you do not want to provide a hint, you may leave this field blank. In this case, we'll just leave this blank. Then enter the available choices on the option text field. The options are the possible answers that the student can choose from, with the correct answer called the key and the incorrect answers called distractors. So for the first option, type in letter A, two weeks. For each option, type in the feedback that you want a student to see when selecting the particular option. Feedback is a text that appears to the student after he or she has answered the question. So in this option, the feedback is incorrect. Now you can modify the text by selecting text color or the text background. Take note, there should be enough options to challenge learners to think about their response. To do that, click the Add Another Option button to add another options. Then type in letter B, one month. In this option, the feedback is correct. To add another option, click on the Add Another Option button. Then type in letter C, 3 months. In this option, the feedback is incorrect. And to add again another option, you have to click on Add Another Option button. Then type in letter D, indefinite period.
In this option, the feedback is again incorrect. So in here, we have made four options. If you wish to delete options, you click on the red X next to the option. Don't forget also to, for, to select the correct option by clicking on the radio button found at the far end side of each option. So in this question, the correct answer is letter B. Then click on the green check mark. Each time you enter content into a field, you must click on the green check mark to record and activate the content in the iDevice. So if you click on letter A, a feedback will appear. So this is incorrect. If you click on letter B, the feedback is correct. And letter C is incorrect. And letter D is again incorrect. So in this option, the one that answer is letter B. And the other answer options are called destructors. This is all for this tutorial.